What's up everybody, this is Rico from Wolf Fire Mods here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you all how to install my uh, recent upload of the Zeph's Buddy Shot Reaction script. Um, this was made by a really close friend of ours that uh, we've been working with, trying to make something cool for y'all uh, to improve gameplay and make more for immersion. Uh, with his help, we've been able to get for the player to react to, well, like I said, whenever the companions or the buddies are getting shot next to them. Uh, this works for both one-handed and two-handed weapons, and uh, I'll be going ahead and showing y'all how to install it and how to use it. After uh, downloading from the Five Mods page, which I don't, I don't, I haven't uploaded it yet, uh, but you'll have a zip folder. So what you do is, is you have Seven Zip installed. You right-click Open, and what I like to do is I like to drag it to desktop, which I already have. So you would just drag it down, and whenever it's in folder form, you open it up. Uh, here is kind of an audio example test uh, for how to install the custom lines. I'll go ahead and show that in a sec. Installation help text. Uh, make sure before you install this that you have the latest script hook V and .NET script hook. Uh, I know .NET script hook has been a little fucked lately, but uh, I can always post a link for that for the working one that we use in the description of the mod, which I'll most likely do. Um, I'll be posting this helpful video here that I'm making right now in this in this spot right here. And a couple of links, one, a few from my my friends here, personal Patreon and YouTube, and our links here, and our Discord if you have any personal questions you need help with or or anything. Uh, but yeah, going to scripts, you would install these into your scripts folder. So find where your main GTA 5 is, go into scripts, just drag these three files into here. Actually, I have them installed already, so they're here. But whenever you're in here, you can click into the the any file, uh, the custom editing of it. Um, so the selection key the by default is E, which is, is 69 on the keyboard. If you ever want to change that, here's a link to uh, a couple of the keybinds uh, where you can switch the keys. So the, for this uh, script, it actually has the ability to use custom voice lines for whenever your character is reacting with these animations, uh, which we have it set currently myself to the Italian lines or the Armenian goons is what they are in the base game. Uh, whenever I'm in game, if I switch to custom voice lines speech by pressing the E button, it will play the buddy down lines, which are a good example. I'll go ahead and show that. But uh, if you want to find any audio for the speech, just go X64 in your mods folder, audio, SFX, and any of these through here, S full all the way down to S misc, which I'm going to go into mini game. And this is the one I have currently set, so when you click into it, I have it set to play these. So this is kind of what it's going to sound like. Hey, don't worry, alright? Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to get your help, you hear me? And the other one. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> so that's going to be what he says whenever somebody's getting shot around him. And then uh, after you've set that, you can then go in game and test it. And what he had put before as a help is an audio example test. So this has pretty much an example of all the different audios in the game from like mission based ones, which are what these are, to what people actually use, like generic highs, how they're going, insults, shocks are kind of what the story with characters do right now, and along with the, fr the frightened lines. We got jacked vehicles, ped rants, all kinds of stuff. So any of those you want to put, even it has the actual lines for the, the voice itself, which if you know how to do it, it's not you're not gonna really need to have that. Um, but then once all that's in there, we go into game. Alright, so we are now in game. Uh, so what we want to do on entering the game is you can switch the voice lines that we were setting in the any file, but you can switch it with the E key. These are all the different ones, but we're gonna have to choose Franklin where we're playing as Franklin. So right now it's Franklin. But these are the other ones. So we have Michael, Trevor, Yangwinger, Police, and the custom voice line from the any file. There's a silent option even if you don't want any voice lines to play. But we'll switch to Franklin. So what we're gonna want to do for this mod to work is we're gonna want to be in combat with either a one-handed or two-handed weapon. So we have pistol here and assault rifle here, which works with any other weapon as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the pistol. Which I think I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in some bodyguards here. So, bam, CA. Get about three of them. And I'll spawn in some ballas 
as enemies. Yeah, as you saw there, he did a reaction t forward with the shot. That was basically reacting, I believe, to him being shot or to him. This does work directionally, so if someone were to say get shot from the left or the right side, it would play a different animation upon doing that. So I thought that'd be really cool. But uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and switch to the assault rifle, which are obviously going to be different animations because it's a two-handed weapon. But it works the same way. We got a bunch of directionals, so. Forward. Yeah, there's a left. People got murdered, but as you saw there, he was reacting kind of sporadically too, because a lot of people were getting shot around him. He didn't know how to handle it, so I thought that was kind of cool as well. Which in the any file, you can always set it to where it won't play like that. You can set it to where they die, and it gets whenever they die that he reacts, which is also cool. But I think if you want to keep it really authentic to the original and how the AI use it, I would say have it when every every shot happens on the character. So that's how the AI use it anyway. So. Yeah, so now we're going to switch to the custom voice lines, which I'm going to tell the what's stupid up, man? <laughs> said what's up. I uh, went clean my clothes, then I'll despawn here, which I'll spawn as, or I'll play as the model, so we can kind of hear the voice lines play better. Um, I haven't released this guy yet, but this is the killer from GTA 4. So I'll just switch to him. I'll switch my voice as well to the one we set in the in file. Um, so the ones he'll say are the buddy down lines, which here's an example of what his voice sounds like. This is really fucked up! So I'll be listening in the combat for his lines for that. Those are the Italian voice lines from BT. I'll go ahead and spawn the Azteca as friends. It's not about two of them. But uh, I'll spawn in some Armenian games. Well, actually no, I'll spawn in the Mexican ones. Because their meaning goods kind of use these lines. Anyways. So spawn in. Switch to the custom voice line. You heard there, he actually said that. As you can see, you can switch the, the audio mid combat. So that works as well if you were to say forget it by accident. It works just as fine, so you can immediately switch to the custom voice line, and it will switch it to that one, whenever he actually says the line, which is really cool. But you heard there, he's like, don't worry, we're gonna get you help. That's exactly what he needs to say, as that was one of his buddy down lines, which I can play right here, so. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! That was the second one, but this was the one he played. Hey, don't worry, alright? Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get you help, you hear me? So it sounds pretty cool, and you can do that with any other voice line as well, uh, when you're setting the voice uh, manually as a custom line. So I hope you found this video helpful, uh, if you did be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for future showcases and uh, helpful videos like this one for some of the mods we release. And be sure to of course say a special thank you in the mods description of uh, the mod page on the 5 mods page. For Zeph, uh, the creator behind the script, because I'm the only one who's been providing the ideas, I haven't been making it, so I'm just showcasing his work in action, so be sure to go show him some love. I put some links in the description of this video and on the mod page for his Patreon, his YouTube, and if you want to speak to me or him personally, you can go to the Discord link uh, for our Discord, because he is in both of those. Uh, Zeph GTA, GTA 5 is what his is, as his name. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you in the next one.